Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. Today we have Fallout, uh, the Amazon Prime uh, brand new TV series. I'm not too sure if it's a limited series, but it's of course an adaptation of the game Fallout. Now, before we get into these reactions, I want to say that I have never played, nor do I know anything about Fallout, and yet I have been very, very excited about this show from the very first look. Uh, the people that are attached to this show, like Jonathan Nolan uh, and a few others. Um, I mean, they've worked on some incredible, incredible things. He's a fantastic writer. Maybe, uh, you know, to a lot of you, Westworld is hit and miss, but he's very good at what he does. Now, if this is good, this is going to be a hit. And if it is good, I don't think it will just be good. I think this show can, has the potential to be incredible or really bad um i i'm currently filming this on the 4th of april now i have got the full season early so you i will be reacting every single day to these episodes so you will be getting my reactions to the full season quite early on um i'm hoping to release two episodes uh, when they come out um uh, the day of release, you will also you can also check out my full season review already on the channel by the time you're watching this, um, and my other reactions will uh, will follow not not that long after. But yeah, no, I'm very excited about this. Trailers look fantastic. Uh, I love the cast. The cast is fantastic. Carl McLaughlin is in this as well. Um, he's in one of my favorite shows of all time, Twin Peaks. And uh, yeah, no, so we're not gonna mess around anymore. This is a this is an hour. 10 minute premiere so without further ado let's get right into fallout let's go the end oh that is that is that walton goggins yes it is so i do believe there's a nuke that goes off and i'm assuming that is about to happen the party let's just focus on the party okay so fallout is like futuristic it yet has the um culture of the 60s why the hell is cooper howard working kids birthday parties what else hmm. all right you ready cooper, let's get a picture uh, you bet yeah okay so this guy is uh Famous? Famous actor, maybe? Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Who's ready for Kate? All right. You ready, Jane? Is that Los Angeles sunshine coming through? Uh, if I'm going off the trailers, I think there's going to be a big nuke dropping not far from here. Why wouldn't you do it? The thumbs up. That's grown up stuff. If they ever drop a really big bomb, I'm told us to hold up your thumb just like this. Bigger than your thumb? They told us not to bother on it. Uh, he surely should have seen that then when he walked out. Or was he? He was probably looking down with his hat, wasn't he? Not to get scientific, but these people definitely would have heard, well, felt the ground moving. But it's fine. Smoke, Jenny. It's just a fire. <laughs> oh, this is really well done. I feel really. I got chills. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna be uh, hit with uh, an even bigger wave soon. I really like the score. Who's doing? I mean, I, it wouldn't surprise me if Ramen Juari, did Juari, did the score. Oh my word! <laughs> oh wow! All right, sorry for this uh, shadow here. That bright up, that light up there is not as strong as the one that's directly in my face. Um, that's a really good start. I, I liked how that was done, and I'm 
I think we're going to get more than that. 219 years later? Repair skills. But I thought Walton plays a character. Dads, but I always relish Kyle! Kyle. ...is teaching American history with a focus on ethics. I really like Ella uh, Pernal. She's a really good actress. Actress. Um, there was that clip that came out with her... Um, versus Walton. And uh, I really didn't think it was as bad of a clip as these people are thinking. Um, and she... Yeah. We're still trying to get my brother on board. Yeah, I have been unable. Yeah, I love this guy. On the far, on left, on the left, Zach is it? Uh, if he's in a show, trust me, it's good. To participate in the triennial trade with Vault Thirty Two. She's gonna no. Oh no. Okay, so she was accepted. I thought this would be an obstacle she would have to overcome. Lucy. She is very beautiful. Given there are thumbs up in this show, I better see a Colin McLaughlin do this. McLean, McLean. I am just excited for us to raise our kids together. Did we? Uh, didn't even clock. Uh, raise our kids together. Okay, so she's got a girlfriend. That is, um... Gonna be controversial. I'm sure. <laughs> Unless that's part of the original game, then, uh... Well. <laughs> I was gonna say, summer did look off. <laughs> and the world is apocalyptic. Post-apocalyptic. Mom. Were you scared when you married mom? Me? <laughs> Terrified. Hmm. Well, 31 was a distant memory to me. Now, I may love this show uh, to come, you know. But you'll have to let me know what you guys actually think of this as an adaptation of the game. I'm sure, um,. Some people will absolutely love this show. Some people uh, will say it's a well-made show, but it is not very accurate. And then some might also say it is very accurate, and I'm very excited um, to hear that discussion. Uh, positive or negative, preferably positive, because that would mean this journey will be a good one. And in that respect, you could be a cannibal just like Cran. What's yours? Norman! going on it's not a sustainable long-term sexual practice you know okay i'm confused maybe I, maybe i misheard the the line between her and the woman i i've been i, I don't know it's probably because i don't have the context of what's about to happen mclean overseer of vault 33 thank you for your hospitality we lost a lot Is she of moving people. section? So she will go through those doors into 32 and she won't really won't return? So, who am I marrying? Ah, okay. Oh no, who is it? Monty. <laughs> okay. Lucky. <laughs> <laughs> I did think they were going to pull some kind of thing where he was going to come out with, um, I, I don't know, uh, uh, maybe he'd been affected by violence and like he had a, no nose or, or something was missing, but no, he's just a, an attractive man. So what's your sperm count? <laughs> Pretty important in perpetuating America, <laughs> so. <laughs> Are bonded. Not just as neighbors, but by a shared duty. We don't know much about what's up there. Violence. I mean, for me, I'm just really all excited because, like, all the footage I've seen of this, they seem to show a lot of the same footage, which I always love when trailers do that, when they show a lot of the same footage in their multiple trailers because it goes to show that, 
either one, they've got nothing to show to impress, but also two, they don't want to reveal and spoil anything and show all of its best parts and keeps the audience guessing. I don't know where this show's going to head because a lot of the trailers are the same thing. And to this marriage and to hope. And given I don't know the story, hmm, yeah. Okay. There's some, some it's gonna go wrong. Either that guy is just not gonna be a good person. Just cause you're, you got the lux doesn't mean you're gonna have the, just cause you have the beauty doesn't mean you have the beauty inside. Every big moment of our lives is gonna happen right here. Oh no. 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 I don't like, no, yeah. 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 I mean, they're married, but I just feel like his intention. Okie dokie. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> never mind, all right, just the way they filmed that was like, oh no. But this, all right, all right, she's into it. Um, I thought it was gonna be a bit of a, the deep situation. All right, that that went that went better than I thought. Maybe, maybe it's because I th you know I think it was it probably wasn't even the directing. Maybe it was literally just me saying he might not have the beauty inside for me to then and then to cut to that scene and then I just assumed he was going to do something weird. Hmm. This show visually looks really nice. You know, wherever this show's heading, good or bad, if the visuals are consistent like this, yeah. You're from the surface. I was right. Okay, so it was directed in a way that was kind of ominous, but she had that kind of naivety. To ah, oh. so we ah oh, no. So I was right. It's the best day of my life. So there's people who have been to the surface, and then there's these people who haven't been to the surface, and. <laughs> she got him. Oh no, we're gonna lose Kyle, aren't we? By the way, if I ever, if I'm looking down there, it's because I can see myself on here. Oh boy, I'm really surprised they they got into this really quickly. Um. I think the I think they've done a good job at world building because they have got into it so quickly and I already already kind of understand this world, um, so they've done a really good job. Um, makes me excited for the future. C clearly, they don't they're not a big fan of filler. I do like the. Uh, the comedy. When you find your huh. Get that jelly mold out of here. Oh my god, I can't lie. That is really cool. He's stuck it in his in his mouth. He blown it blown a hole in it so then he could use it for for the gun and simultaneously a shield. I really like how this is directed. And with the film burning in the background as well. Sir, please don't make me use force. What do you think's been happening? Did you not hear the gunshots? 
Really interesting choice of editing in, in in this so far. A lot of it I really like, and some of it I feel like, well, I don't know yet. You know, I haven't got a full opinion on it. Like a lot of the past five minutes has been done with very minimal dialogue. I think I know who you are. Everyone knows who. One of life's tricky little choices. Ah, oh, boy. You are my world. I don't want to see Kyle die. <laughs> Is that death, though? I feel like if it was death, they would have, like, done it in a gruesome way. Hmm. Wow. And now we're gonna meet a new character, I assume? Which, I actually, yeah, that then, then, then that explains some of the editing, and I forgot about that. We're getting kind of chapters of characters. So that was Ella. Oh, no, it wasn't. Wait, was Ella playing Ella? Or was it Anna? I've already forgotten. Hold on, let me, uh... Let me check this, and then whoever this character is. Lucy. Maximus. Okay. So, I assume he'll be, uh, working on the... Big, uh, suit. And then the third character, I assume, is gonna be, uh, Walton Goggins' character. The Finders and the Preservers. So, a very different aesthetic. And these people are on the surface. So there's uh, almost different... Um, I don't know. Culture, beliefs about this world. Some people believe going to the surface is something. You know, you, you it's not safe. Oh, uh, wow. Okay. And then these people, part of the military, who are on the surface, who can be on the surface, but... Again, they might be uh, in a different city. Maybe it's different city cities. Or more nuked than others. <laughs> okay. T-60. No, I have a feeling, Maximus, you are... Uh, Gonna be wearing this suit quite soon. Hmm. <laughs> come Is he having a wank? He's having a wank. A bunch of us were chosen to get anointed. Hey, what's your title gonna be? <laughs> Don't worry, man, your time will come. Whoa. Ah. Uh, was it Maximus? Potentially. So we're back here. We spent a lot less time with Maximus than we did. We've forgotten a name. <laughs> um, Lucy. Yeah, Lucy. We send a search party to the surface to find my dad. Opening the outer vault door? Just for under a minute. But our first priority has to be to maintain the security of this vault. That is uh, Blind Al in Deadpool. I thought so. Yeah, I, I, I think we're going to see a lot more Kyle, I think. Kyle was a part of this press tour quite a bit. 
uh, particularly with Ella. And they've not really shared many scenes with each other, so they have to, they, they, they have to show more, uh, have more scenes together. How's your day going? Bad as everyone else's. <laughs> composer Ramin Jwadi is the composer for this show. Yeah, I could tell. Yeah, things are moving fast in this. You know, I think some people were worried that this show might have a bit of filler, despite its eight episodes. But I also think some people, and including me, think maybe if there was a little bit more, uh, more of a slower pace to this first episode. But this is the first episode. I mean, we've got seven more after this to build this world, and maybe what we're focusing on right now really isn't that important. But important, so they can go kind of glide through it a little bit. Hmm. Now it's the same to you if you try to follow me. I'm too chicken. Well, that woman said that she would see the surface soon, so she is expecting her to leave. <laughs> I like the comedy in this. I feel like a lot of people are going to mistake this comedy by badly written drama, if you know what I mean. So I feel like some people will interpret that scene as like a dramatic moment, but it's it's really not. It doesn't play that way. It's clearly not a self-serious show and, I assume, game. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, this show looks fantastic, doesn't it? it I mean, expected, because Westworld does, but this is, I mean, this is a bigger scale and more fantastical than, than Westworld. Um, and they've really pulled this off. This does not look fake. This looks, this looks great. We expect you to give us the truth. To hurt the people who hurt me? You're aware of their injury? Yes. Your fellow aspirants say it was you. <laughs> Speak. I, I didn't, I didn't do it. I, didn't. Well, I like that voice. I, I, I wanted it to happen, is that wrong? Yes. Violence? against a brother of steel. You have anything else to say? I, I want to thank you. For your guidance. If I can help the Brotherhood make it better, it means giving my own life. I'll do it. Good boy. <laughs> you will be Knight Titus, new squire. Yeah, he knew what he was doing. He, yeah, he, he was not, <laughs> he was not ready to die. I heard you got my spot. They asked if it was you. I told him you wouldn't hurt a fly. Well, to be in this line of work, I think you would need to harm at least a fly. It's your most sacred duty. So it actually is kind of a culture and belief. So I was quite right about the, you know, the different sanctions. I don't, I don't know what what word to use, but um, yeah, they all believe different things about the world anyway. Uh, the world. See, I, 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 you know, I might save to the end because we are nearing. We're kind of nearing the end. But I do want to comment on the editing a little bit. Oh, wow. I'm very interested in where, they at, where they're where actually heading. I hope it's a bit more lively than this place. 
And again, a lot is happening with very minimal dialogue when introducing these characters. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Can't abide a chicken. Oh, so he's gonna be brought back alive? Because I, I was gonna say, how is he not aged? Well, he probably has age, but in over 200 years, but he's gonna be uh, coming back to life. The ghoul. <laughs> I'm Huncho. Now you don't even know us. No. I do not. I mean, if this show's established something, is that it does look great in any time of day, any location. Oh, it makes you think I'd give a good goddamn about that. And what the fuck would you know about where I'm from? How about we put you right back in that hole so Don Pedro can have his fun with you? Or he could, you know, <laughs> kill you. I do this shit for the love of the game. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. The ghoul. <laughs> Directed by Jonathan Nolan. So he did the pilot. Oh, is there something else? No, okay. Let's just check there is nothing at the end. There we go, there is episode one of Fallout. Uh, I have quite a bit to say, I think I have a quite a bit uh, quite a bit to say. Uh, so we're going to get into this straight away, see if you agree with me, if you disagree with me, whatever. Um, but I want to say I really enjoyed this first episode. Um, we'll get the positives out of the way. Um, it looks amazing. Uh, visually, it looks absolutely fantastic. And... Um, you know, when it, there's a lot of shows, a lot of films nowadays that just sometimes they might not look great, but still good shows. And then there's also shows out there that, um, you know, uh, look great, aren't great. Um, but for the most part, whenever a show does look great or whenever a film does look great, you can tell there is appreciation there and there is uh, someone who's actually trying and I've already gotten that from this, that people, uh, that this show really wants a very distinct style, uh, whether that is through the, the cinematography or the, the editing and the the tone of it, because it is quite comedic at times, not exaggerated comedy, um, but definitely a particular style of comedy that almost comes with the world that they're in, rather than uh, the tone of the show, it, it, it's almost, you know... Um, you know, uh, the Irish humour is different to American humour. British humour is different to American humour. British humour is different to Irish humour. You know, so different places and different worlds and different time periods over time, comedy has changed, and I think um, some of these way these characters speak are very different to others. There was nothing comedic about Maximus's stuff. Um, there's a coolness comedy to the ghoul, and with Lucy, there's this really happy propaganda uh, uh, tone to those people, so the comedy comes through uh, exaggeration, um, and I like that, and I, th I think this, this episode has done a really good job at world building. I do have criticisms about the world building that I'll get into soon, but yeah. Um, I love the music choices, I love the score. I love the, the performances. Uh, I enjoyed Maximus. Obviously, Maximus got that big, you know, scene as an actor to show off his acting. Um, but I really enjoy uh, Ella Pianola as, as Lucy. And Morton Goggins is, is who I'm most excited about. Um, on the writing standpoint, I mean, nothing to really say anything, you know, I think. Some of the writing faults that people might say is a writing fault, I think, 
might come down to editing, and I will get to that. Um, but as dialogue, as a script, I thought this did a good job. Um, you know, we we un- we know these characters, we know their goals, besides the ghoul, because he's mysterious. But there wasn't much dialogue for Maximus, but we understand that he um, he was saved by one of these machines when he was younger, and he dreamt of being a part of that. They took him in, and he wants to do the same for people. Uh, however, due to maybe neglect or, or, or just, uh, you know, it doesn't seem like he has lots of buddies, so um, it kind of makes him a little impulsive and maybe goes a little bit too far to achieve what he wants to achieve. That might affect him in the future when he's wearing the suit. Um, and we understand that he has a friendship, but friendship isn't doesn't mean the world to him. And with Lucy, we understand that uh, she wants to be a part of a better world. She wants to be happy. She wants to bring people together. Um, and she loves her dad. However, you know, uh, you know what happened. So now I want to get into the kind of the negatives that I have. I won't be reviewing each episode uh, as, thorough, uh, as thoroughly as this. Because this is the first episode, I want to get into this. And because I have all the time in the world um, to talk about it. Um, I will talk about it. Um, so my negatives, firstly, before I talk about editing, that's the main chunk. I, there's a few things here and there, like minor things, continuity, um, but little bits like, you know, Walton in the beginning, how when the bomb goes off, you should really feel that, uh, when that happens. But there was no, like, I don't know, there was light as well, that flash of light. I feel like the people in the house would have most definitely have seen that, especially considering the windows. Um, so it's a little bit like that, that kind of take you out for a second. And, you know, little bits like that do take people out of episodes for a second going, well, they they would have seen that. And it's those little details that can make and break a lot of shows. If there's a lot of those little details that are off a lot of the time, then shows don't work. Um, and then there was also uh, the guy who was, you know, just standing on guard and then, he is looking out to the part where there are gunfire and violence going on, and yet he seems unfazed by it. And when that guy approaches him, he's like, hey, don't get any closer or you, you know, will take force. Um, another thing that it is, is probably about the script is I do wish that there was a couple of things here and there that I do have questions about this world. And, and specific questions why the attack happened. There was a very little kind of hint at it, like these important people. Um, and, and there's some secret going on that has probably been hidden over the hundreds of years. But it does leave audiences with questions, and I'm sure it'll be answered. And I do think from now on, this show is going to get a lot better. There's something about this first episode that made me think, they just really went into it. And if they really went into it, and they don't go, they don't move at that pace for the rest of the show. I think we're looking at a really great show. And the main thing for me is editing. I just, I did felt that it went by a little too quickly. Some things, you know, cutting maybe too early or, or maybe not going for too long, but cutting too early. Uh, there was a specific bit where uh, Lucy has gone out to the real world, uh, to the surface, and uh, we get that. A really nice shot of of uh, the kind of the um, uh, I don't know what to call it the the where the wheel was you know I've, uh, the pier and um, as we're looking out to that it suddenly cuts and we're with whatever uh, Maximus I just thought that that cut was a little bit off and it's just a few editing choices here and there and again I just would have maybe liked a little bit more, sit with this world a little bit more, gain a little bit more emotional connection to Lucy and her father. They had, did have that nice scene but it maybe felt like they were trying to get through that as soon as possible because very soon this place is going to be um, going to be attacked. So I think, you know... I'm already attached to the dad because it's Carl McLaughlin, but a lot of people who are going to be watching this probably don't know who Carl McLaughlin is and have never seen Twin Peaks. So I don't know how people are going to respond to those scenes. 
I certainly responded because I like Kyle, but people who don't know him, how are they going to respond to it? But that's it from me. Uh, that's it. All I have to say, I really enjoyed this first episode. Um, I, th- I Again, I think it does a good job, and it looks fantastic. Um, let's just hope it, it slows down a little bit. I think it will. I th- Usually, second episodes are those episodes that just, they're quite slow. And maybe nothing much happens, but it's quite slow. It sets things up. I hope it sticks to that tone. Um, because, yeah, it moved fast. It definitely moved fast, but a good one, nonetheless. Let me know, Cosplay, what you thought this first episode of Fallout. Uh, obviously, as you're watching this right now, I have seen the whole show, so I suppose you can drop your thoughts overall of the season, but there's going to be people who are watching this episode without having watched maybe 6, 7, and 8. So please, if you are going to do any spoilers, put spoiler at the top, uh, go down a few paragraphs, and then write your um, whatever you want to say so people can click read more if they want to, uh, if they have also seen the season. But for the most part, please don't spoil. These reactions are going to be coming out one after the other over the pa- over the next two days. So maybe save your fault, thoughts till then. But yeah. My Instagram, Twitter, letterbox down both like truffle for them. And if you're new here, feel free to subscribe, like, share, and comment, all that good stuff. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.